And just like that, our beautiful weather is gone. But, you know, Nebraska, it's kind of par for the course. So let's see, today is going to be a dye day. I have lots of yarn to dye up today. I'm hoping to catch up on Advents today. Um, here pretty soon, I've got to drop my daughter off at school. She'll be there all day because they do have two more performances of Kinky Boots today. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna get up to a lots, of, lots of random things today. I'm feeling a bit better. Um, sore throat has kind of backed off a little bit so that's good and goodness what else I don't even know I don't even know I'm gonna get my coffee in my veins so I can wake up <laughs> um, yeah but I'll, I'll definitely bring you along to the dye studio um, it's gonna be a cold one in there today but that's all right um, and some of it will have to be in black and white because I'm dying up more Advent skeins to ship out. So I'm sorry in advance, but I can't show you any of the colors just yet. They have to remain a surprise. Um, I am gonna pull that listing down here pretty quick um, just because the turnaround time for the mail is getting to, it's like crunch time. Um, so if you were wanting one of those Advent skeins, I highly suggest you grab it in the next couple days because I will be pulling that listing down just because I don't want to disappoint anyone with them being um, delivered late. So um, in the mail, we, we need to give the mail some grace around this time anyway. Things are moving fairly slow and it's the holidays and um, yeah, again, just don't want to disappoint anyone. So uh, yeah, see you in a bit. So here we are, December 5th already, day five of Advents, and the first one up is from the Fiber Fox, and the colorway of today is Golden Hour, which is so beautiful. After that, we have Blush Yarns, and today's colorway, oh, I forgot, there was a coaster in there that was hand quilted by Knitter's Nook on Etsy. And look how beautiful that little coaster is. I'm gonna be so excited to have that on my desk with my coffee every day while I'm working. Today's colorway is called Spruce. And it's a gorgeous speckled green, blue-green. So pretty. Grenouille today is Magpie, and I definitely am going to need a sweater's quantity of this colorway because look at the depths of the blues and the blacks and the grays. I cannot wait to see how this knits up. Sweet Sparrow Yarns included these cute stork scissors. I actually still use the scissors I received in last year's advent from Julie. I'm so happy to have another pair because they're my favorite. And today's colorway is this is just to say on her Snowfinch base, which is a tweed base. And then Lofty Loops today is also on a tweed base if you were receiving the 24 day advent. And it's just this really pretty plummy pink almost. And I wanted to mention another fun extra that I had thrown in this year's advents was a handcrafted scented soap from House Grey Girl, and the color, or the name of it is called YSL. And they actually took inspiration from one of my last year's Christmas colorways. I believe Vintage Christmas is what the inspiration for this was. So it's a mold spiced cider scent, and it smells so, so good. And just wait until you see how beautiful this bar of soap is. Isn't it stunning? And it smells so good. I wish y'all could smell it in person. But look at the gold sparkle in there. 
how fun is that? And it smells so Christmassy. So here is day five of the advent calendars and I love, again, each and every one. Each day gets better and better and I am just so in love with everything and I'm loving my projects. After opening up Advents, it was time to hit the dye studio and get some yarn dyeing done. So I do apologize, these are in black and white because I am dyeing up the Advent skeins for opening on December 5th, or December 25th, I'm sorry. So they will remain a secret until December 25th. So I can't show you any colors, but just please believe me that they are stunning. Um, they are a very involved color way to dye. Um, there's lots that goes into it, but that just makes them extra special at the end. I received a beautiful package today. I actually completely forgot that I ordered this. So I was really confused when I uh, had to sign for a package today, but then it dawned on me. Um, yes, I did in fact order this. So I thought I would share it with you. Comes in this beautiful bag. And I ordered from the Camel's Yarn. Um, and she is from, Hannah's from Cornwall in the UK. Um, there's her information there, but I actually, I just stumbled upon her Instagram account not too long ago um, where all of the indie dyers were doing one of those Instagram stories where they post a picture of their feed or whatever it was. Um, and I happened to see hers and her colors, uh, I just about died. Um, and it was, it happened to be right before one of her shop updates. So I went ahead and grabbed two sweaters worth of yarn from Hannah. So let me pull them out and I'll share them with you. So I ended up getting four skeins of fingering weight yarn as well as five skeins of her DK base. Um, and one thing she does on all of her colors is she includes a knitted swatch and that was honestly what sold me on these right here. The swatch is beautiful and I knew I wanted a sweater. Um, so and look okay her tags like seriously just destroying the game hannah these are so beautiful they're like it's printed linen and each one each one has a tag like this like oh my word and then they're tied on with some twine but this is wilted blooms on her merino dk it is 100 percent superwash merino and 100 grams for 225 meters she's got the dye law on there this so beautiful so it's a very variegated mauvey pink with some kind of gray gray undertones maybe a little tannish undertone but the swatch was absolutely gorgeous so I'm very excited to knit just a plain stockinette sweater I think um, with this and actually I believe I was thinking of doing a autumn league pullover so that might be what those become. And then while I was also shopping her update, uh, she had released some new colors. I think the Wilted Blooms was a new colorway too. But this was also another new one and it is Oyster Mushroom. And this is on her standard sock base, which is a fingering weight 7525 Superwash Merino Nylon. And it is 425 meters for 100 grams. And again, these tags, what? Oh my goodness, like the quality, I just, I can't even. So this is very similar to the Wilted Blooms where it's going to be very variegated um, once it's knit up. But this is more of a purpley taupe than a pink. Um, there are a little bit of pinky undertones in there. Um, there's some more of that purple, but again, the swatch sold me, so. Not entirely sure what these will become, but they will be some sort of sweater, gorgeous, beautiful sweater. And these, they're so squishy. 
Oh my gosh, and having just finished my wool and berries, I'm so ready to cast on another DK sweater. So thank you, thank you, Hannah. These are so lovely. Um, and it was such a fun surprise because like I said, I completely forgot uh, that they were even on their way. So please check her out. I'll link her in the description box below. Um, she has stunning work. Hello, I'm Jordan. I am this one's uh, daughter. Anyway, so right now I'm on my way to school. It is a Saturday, but I am on my way to school because we are doing a production of Kinky Boots, which is a story about some drag queens and a, a shoe factory, and then they make shoes for drag queens, and it's very fun. So I get to do all of the drag queens' makeup on seven different guys that I go to school with, and it is very fun. I've made a lot of new friends, and it is one of the best shows I've ever seen, and I've seen Hamilton, and I mean it. Um, what else? today. Yeah, two shows today. And then, what, five more shows next week? I think so. I have one Thursday, Friday, and two other shows on Saturday. Okay, four more shows next week. Four more. So you have six more shows in total. Yeah. Um, and we had opening night two days ago, and it went super, super well. And we've been working on this for pretty sure uh, all year. So all far, year. Like whole semester. Scott said it's been 14 weeks wow. that we've been putting this all together. Lots of super late nights after school, right? Like a lot of time spent. Yeah. The set is amazing. The makeup and costumes are amazing. I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, like I'll like wake up and go to school and have my normal school day you know, my classes, and then right after school, I'll be there, because I'm on makeup crew, so I have to be there an hour and a half before everyone else um, to do the makeup. And so I'll get there right after school, and I'll stay till 10 or 11 at night, and then I'll go to sleep, and I'll do the entire thing again. And now that there are shows, it's, it's a lot, but it is so very worth it. I think that's it. Is that it? I think so. I'm also at school, so I gotta go. Bye-bye. So happy I finally settled on the Lamina wrap by Ambo O'Brien for my Fiber Fox advent. I love this pattern so much. I love the lace sections and in between for each garter section I'm holding the uh, mini double with a skein of Surrey Baby Alpaca and silk just to give it an extra bit of fluff and fun and I really like how it's turning out so far. Back in the dye studio and time to put some speckles on a colorway I actually can show you. So I didn't want to leave you hanging with just black and white footage, so here, enjoy the beautiful speckles. I've had some questions on Instagram on whether or not a 20 gram mini was enough held double for the wrap it real good. And I did have enough of my first color with maybe three to five grams left over. I did not measure. But I'm doing it the same way I do for my Northeasterly where I'm pulling from the inside and the outside of the cake to create a DK weight and it works out perfect. 
And as you can see, we spent the rest of the day just lounging on the couch, being lazy. I was catching up on all the vlog misses. And yeah, it was a it was a really relaxing evening. I got a lot of knitting done and I love days like today. Thanks for watching. I'll see y'all tomorrow.